You came up and I recognize you because I watch your YouTube videos all the time. What? No so way! High. What? Oh I'm my so god! High. I was trying to hide my like, like whoa face. That was oh. really nice. <laughs> That's nice so cool! <laughs> oh god, I don't even know what to say anymore. Taylor and the. Welcome, folks. I'm oh, Jabby Kuei, joined by Char Kirk. Hi. And uh, you're going to see two interviews. We just wrapped doing it right now. One is with uh, Sana Amanat. I'm probably saying her name wrong. Sana. And Sana. Go ahead. Let's... Sana Anamat. And then uh, Bisha K. Ali. Please check out both. They're quite fun. Really appreciate you guys being here. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please pop this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. <laughs> yes. I, 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 the, I, I love... I love, I can't say anything. Okay, cool. Yeah, check it out, you check guys. It it's out. great. Two amazing Daisy women. Yes. Yes. All right. Making it in Hollywood. Here it is. Hello there. I am Jabby Koei and joined by Achara Kirk. Hi. And uh, we, we are with youtube.com slash get jabby. Very nice. What is your, does your shirt say jet? What does it say? Does it say jet? No, jabby. G? Jabby. Jabby. Okay. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, cool. <laughs> war, war just for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I have an interesting question for you. Do you know who Nimesh Patel is and how much do you relate to his comedy? Nimesh Patel. I actually don't know if I know his okay. comedy that that well. Why? Uh, no, because he's also from Jersey. He's a, he's a, he's a oh. yeah, he's a Daisy from Jersey and he, he uh, and he always talks about his experiences. I thought you might, you might enjoy it. I know Nimesh. I just don't know. I don't know if I know his comedy that well, but I guess I'm going to have to go and compare notes. Uh, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, were you at all surprised by the love that Miss Marvel has received since the comics and now with the show coming out? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, Willow and I joked a lot about how like Willow, the writer of the comic, joked a lot about how like we didn't know how far the issues were going to go. We're like, oh, maybe we'll get issue nine and we'll see. And the response has been really incredible from day one. And she was truly a breakout star. And I think from there, getting the show and now seeing all of the excitement about the show worldwide has been quite thrilling and some of the great feedback we've gotten so far in some of the first few episodes. I'm just shocked, I guess. I don't know why, mm -hmm. even though I'm like, I like it. Yeah. I think it's good, yeah. you know, and so, but it's still surprising, you know, and, and really incredible. It seems like your ethnicity is very much front and center in your identity on the internet or how the internet knows you. Did you shy away from your roots as a kid? And if so, when did you feel like you can embrace it? Yeah, I mean, you know, the funny thing is like, I don't think I ever shied away from my roots. I grew up in a pretty strong and big brown family mm -hmm. um, in New Jersey. And, you know, my parents started a mosque. And so I was going to the, I was oh. going to the mosque every Sunday yeah. and I was a part of the youth group there. And. You know, so it was something, you know, I was actually quite proud of. I started a youth group actually in high school to connect different Muslims in the uh, new upper in the New Jersey area. That's dope. And um, I loved it. You know, I think that it was something that I knew I, I appreciated. But at the same time, I felt like it wasn't accepted. Gotcha. And so that created a lot of um, stress and uncertainty within myself and um, a lot of lack of confidence yeah. because I felt like, oh, is this OK? Is it not OK? Can I be loud and proud in, in who I am? Right. And I think over time in my search for my identity, I realized, yeah, actually, like this is I went to college. I, I started a bunger, a bunger team, a dance team, Amazing. a South Asian dance team in college. So, I mean, certainly I found my people, I found my space and, and realized I could take take up space, actually. And that is something that was, I think, really the source of Kamala and that story was telling a story about someone not rejecting her identity, but really trying to understand it and her place within all these different aspects of her identity gotcha. and and finding a way to ultimately celebrate like what she wants to create from that. Gotcha. Yeah, um, I think that really comes across very strongly. What aspects of Pakistani culture did you feel were most important to incorporate into the comics and the show? Well, I mean, I think it's just the little things like the way that, you know, Kamala, whether it's like her her disconnect with her parents and them not understanding this like love for you know marvel and uh, sorry uh, love for these avengers superheroes which felt like mm, the way my mother was with me and she didn't understand the fact that like what, what's saved by the bell you're crazy like what, right. what are these dumb stupid american shows like it's the same kind of thing of like you know not understanding this americanness right. as you know our parents probably would say um that was was incredibly important the clothes the food the music you know the textures the color um all of that was important the little phrases within especially the show just kind of going doing code switching was important to us so that oh, we wow. can show that this is what families sound like you yeah know, or something 
will say some Urdu words and sometimes not. And I think that feels very real. Yeah. So taking out the supernatural elements, how much of an autobiography for you is Miss Marvel? You know, an autobiography of, of Willow. And then, of course, you know, Bisha, our head writer. And mm -hmm. I think everyone has kind of brought themselves into it. But I think the core, the, the yes, the inherent, the beginning of the character really started with things that I had been going through as a young person and trying to understand that. And that's really what we injected. And that's how we actually found the story of what worked for Kamala Khan and and um, the overall art, the, the overall story of uh, of how she kind of tries to be like people that don't look like her. Yeah. And her realizing that she kind of needs to look to herself and, gotcha. and, and her family. Gotcha. Yeah. So Shah Rukh Khan has been confirmed in the MCU now. And uh, I heard that you said that you would do a reshoot for the series <laughs> if he decided that he wanted to be a part of it. Now, are there any other Bollywood or Pakistani actors that you would be like, yes, we will definitely reshoot the series for you if you want to come on board. Um, oh my God, this is hard. This is hard. I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, so many like Amir Khan, um, uh, right. Madhuri Dixit, love wow. her. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Classic. Ashraya Rai, love him. Okay. Amita Bachchan, uh, like just all, there's so many, you know, Abhishek Bachchan's great too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just have all the Bachchan's. <laughs> yeah. Like just, I just love, there's, there's just all the Khans. <laughs> and all um, yeah, that would be that would be awesome. But guess what? We have Farhan Akhtar and he's uh, amazing. And Fouad Khan and Mavish Hayat and Zmeen Ahmed and just great, great, you know, actors from South Asia. Um, looking at your background, I noticed that like identity rejection was something that you were sort of dealing with before Marvel stuff. And in terms of like trying to help out combating that. And so this is sort of a crystal ball question, but I feel like you might have an interesting answer. Do you feel like uh, your kids and their generation will be free of identity rejection or will it take a lot more time? I hope so. I mean, I will say I'm just seeing even in my nieces, you know, my my nephews, they're a lot more OK in who they are and celebrating their culture. I think they don't necessarily fully understand and appreciate it because they're like one removed. You know, they don't speak Urdu like I do. And, yeah. you know, so there's this disconnect. So I just hope that, you know, as much as I believe that sort of identity politics might not be sort of completely at the forefront of their lives, I do think they're still going to be dealing with it. I think that is kind of the reality of, um, you know, just sometimes how politics have slowly evolved and devolved, yeah. unfortunately. I think there might be an aspect of it, but my hope is they continue to sort of celebrate their existence and their communities and their identities which I think this show does really well and that they learn more about who they are and where they come from and kind of stand tall in that. Cool. Thank you Absolutely. so much for your time. Really, really appreciate your all your answers. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. Thank you. Have a good Bye, one. Bye. Bye. Hello, I am Jabby Kuwait joined by Char Kirk, and we are with Get Jabby. Hi, it's Bisha. I'm so excited to see you guys. I I just like, you came up and I recognize you because I watch your YouTube videos all the time. What? I'm no so way! What? Yes. Oh I'm my so God. Hyped. I was trying to hide my like, like whoa face. That was oh, so nice. nice. That's so cool. <laughs> oh God, I don't even know what to say anymore. Taylor and the teaser drops. I yeah. was like, oh my gosh, they liked it. Wait, yeah. he's into it? What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> All right, the interview is over. We can we can leave now. <laughs> All right, please. All right, let's go for a drink. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. Well, we're, we're huge fans of the show. So I had a, just a random question for you. So apart from the glorious weather... Um, what do you miss the most about the UK now that you're living in LA? <laughs> I'm actually back in the UK at the moment. No I'm working way. on another show. <laughs> I am, yes. Um, I'm working on another show. Two days off to do this press junket. But um, uh, what do I miss about the UK when I was away was I love uh, Jaffa cakes <sighs> and I really love um, bourbon biscuits. Uh, oh, yes. I don't know. I've got a, like a real biscuit physique. <laughs> um, I really, that's, those are the two things I really, really miss. And I really miss pubs. Just miss being in a pub, you know? Yeah. All right. So we're going to fire off a bunch of questions as fast as we can just because they're gonna Let's they're gonna cut it. off the time really soon so who, know, who are your, and i'm a talker go okay who are your favorite dc comics and are you going to champion any of them to appear in marvel oh yeah well i mean i love kamal but he's already in uh the mcu oh nish kumar is a very close friend of mine who's a british stand-up okay. he's a legend i okay. think he would love to be in the mcu and i have like i don't know i have a really clear character in mind for him if we could get it done um he would be brilliant hasam minaj would be great in the mcu just uh, like as a cool like cool vibey guy who's always out there giving good advice I think those, those, those are my top three. Oh, so I really enjoyed the Illuminatis in the show, uh, the Illuminantes, sorry. And I was just like, yes, Auntie Power is real. What other Daisy <laughs> superpowers do people need to know about? Oh my gosh, like just the food. Our food just bangs. Like our food is so good. Like that, for sure the food. 
Um, I don't have a superpower, just like a baseline default of like, eat good and love your body and love yourself. That's yeah. the vibe with the food. The Illuminati. Can we just shout out Saber Piazada, who was one of the writers in the writers' room, but then went on to write on Moon Knight, Illuminati to the Saber Piazada original, that phrase. And yeah, I just love it. And he's a genius and I love him. So how many instances were there of you hanging out with your family and being like, Yep, that's definitely going in the show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was living across the world from them at the time, but there are so many elements that are of not just my family, but of all the families of the writers in the writers' room, which was not just Pakistani families, but families from all over that have gone in in small, tiny ways and bring and bringing this to life. I will say that one element that is very much uh, from my family is my mum is a huge Bon Jovi fan, um, oh, wow. and that has certainly worked its way into the show. That's awesome. So what what aspects of Pakistani and South Asian culture did you feel were most important to include in the show? It's an interesting question because I think um, it's born of what's in the comics. There's a lot of love and respect for the comics from every creator involved in the show. And there's so much of it is just in there. Yeah. Um, and the key to it is that it's part of the fabric of the comics. And in the same way with the show, everything that you're seeing in Pakistani or whether it's Pakistani culture or South Asian or Muslim culture, it's just part of the fabric of her day-to-day life. She's an American girl living her life and that happens to be part of it. And that was a really important approach to how we curated what to show or not show um, throughout the entirety of the season. If you can recall the headspace you were in, what was it like being entrusted with an episode of Loki? And how does it compare to doing Miss Marvel? Loki was like a really free, chill vibe for me because I wasn't the head writer. So there's a lot less pressure. Oh, oh wow. Um, so I could leave the like the, the stressing to Waldron on that one. I think the gift of uh, writing on Loki and my episode in particular is always... In the right, then we kind of always broke it as like a, a standalone adventure almost that they go on that has like obviously connectivity to everything else in this big moment. I think actually the the end of my episode actually ended up in the edit at the top of the next episode oh. in that everything in my episode would have uh, been all on Lamentis. And the gift of that, I love talking about this, by the way, um, the gift of Lamentis for me is they're very much like, just go ahead and make it up, like do what you want. And I was like, for real? And they're like, yes, go, do what you want. So the world building on Lamentis with Bisha in her bedroom crying that she can't believe she gets to do this, oh. um, making up that um, the moon Lamentis and the, I mean, the first drafts are like 5,000 pages long and there's, uh, there's a whole, there's a war on the planet. There's all this other stuff going on that yeah. you re- obviously revise and cut down, but that was really freeing. And then relative to this, where you'll feel like this vanguard of like, protect your own vision. Also open yourself up to the visions of all the directors, open yourself up to Kevin and to Sana and respect the comic books, bring all these writers into a space where they can give their best work. That's my like happy place is a writer's room where everyone's like passionate and excited and it feels comfortable to share true things about themselves. Yeah. Um, and so there's a pressure with that, that uh, wasn't the same for me and Loki, but a different kind of joy to it as well. Yeah. Uh, Bisha, you are so dope. I would love to hang out with you someday. <laughs> like, I just, I just would love to just chat with you all day long, but we have to wrap up our interview now. Thank you so much, and you are so awesome. It's been a pleasure. And looking forward to talking to you again soon. You too. Keep up the good work, guys. I really appreciate all that you do. It's great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Take, take care. care. Bye. Bye. Take care. All right, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for hanging out. Again, before you take off, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications. I'm pretty pleased. Vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Peace out.